Welcome to Flat A Teacher. Guys, in the last video, I explained an expanded widget. In this video, I will explain the flexible widget which has great role for making responsive UIs in Flutter. Here, I will also compare the flexible widget along with the expanded. So without wasting time, let's get started. Flexible widget gives a child of a row or column the flexibility to fill the available space in the main axis. But unlike the expanded, flexible does not require the child to fill the entire available space. Let's say this practically. We have a column that contains two containers, one with the orange color and another is having the green color. Both has given the height of 200 pixel. As these containers have given the height, that's why they are the fixed size widget. You can observe here, if I decrease the height of this browser, you can see here Flutter is giving me error called the rendering overflow. Now let me just comment height of the last container. Let me put here comment and let me wrap this container inside the flexible widget. So let's click on this wrap with the widget. Let's write here flexible. Now you can observe here if I wrap it inside flexible, this flexible widget is getting the entire space available inside the main axis. So if I am just playing with this one, it is not giving me an error. So it is now a kind of flexible here. Now you can see me, uh, this flexible is now working similar to the expanded here. But if I just uncomment the height and if I uh, go with some height for this container, you can observe here. Now in this case, flexible is not behaving same as the expanded. Rather, it is respecting the height of container which is 200 pixel. And now if I decrease the height here, you can observe here, the container is not getting disturbed. But if I just again decrease the height just below the 200 pixel, you can observe here, this container is now a flexible in nature and it is adjusting itself inside whatever space available inside the main axis. Flex property of flexible widget allows multiple children to adjust the available space using the ratio for the given flex value. You can observe here the first container with the green color is wrapped inside the flexible and given the flex of 1 and the last container that is the blue container is wrapped inside the flexible and which has the value of flex here too. It means whatever uh, size this first flexible will get the double size will be given to the last flexible. That's why you can observe here, this size of this blue container is double than, means the height of this blue container is double than the height of this green container. If I just increase or decrease the height, you can observe here, the ratio will maintain. Now let's understand what happens if we provide height for both of these containers. Let's put some height, let's say 200 pixel here, and let's see how they behave when they have the height. You can observe here, now uh, you can see here, it is not looking like they are not just behaving with the flex okay both these containers are having the height of 200 pixel but you can see the magic if i decrease the height of this browser you can observe here now they are just behaving with the flex value means they are giving respect to their flex value but if they got much more space to play means to adjust themselves so they won't care about the flex okay they will have the height of 200 pixel equally but as there is no space for them so they will adjust itself inside whatever space available now when there is a time to get adjustment they will simply behave or they will simply respect the flex values given to them flexible widget has got a property called fit and that controls how the child gets fitted in the available space two possible values for this fit property are flex fit dot loose and the flex fit dot tight flex fit dot loose is a default value as it is the loosely fixed you can observe here as this flexible widget has a container with the height of 200 pixel you can observe here it is respecting the height and it is not just occupying the available space that's what the use of this flex speed dot loose but if i change this loose to say flex speed dot tight you can observe here now it won't respect the height of this container so irrespective of height of this container this flexible widget will occupy entire space available inside the main axis and this is how means whenever we use this uh, feed value of flex feed dot tight your flexible widget exactly works as the expanded widget now let's compare the expanded and flexible widgets when we look at the source code of this expanded widget you can observe here expanded widget is extending the flexible widget it means expanded is just a shorthand for flexible let's understand similarities between them both these expanded and flexible concerns about the sizing of child only in the main axis that is for row in the horizontal direction and for column in the vertical direction only. 
we are bound to make them as the descendant that is the first child of row or column otherwise flutter will throw an exception both these widgets must be used only inside flex row or column we cannot use them elsewhere in a program now let's see the differences between them you can observe here the rate container is wrapped inside expanded that's the reason this rate container that is the child will try to get entire space available inside the main axis however if i change this expanded to say flexible and when i save it here you can observe here in this case this flexible is not getting expanded for the entire height available in the main axis rather this flexible is respecting the height whatever we are providing for this container and if the uh, space is not enough inside the main axis in this case this red box that is red container is smart enough to adjust itself in the available space in the main axis both this expanded and flexible has a property called key flex and child but if you observe properly with the flexible there is additional property called fit and that uh, maintains or that controls how the child has to be fitted in the available space we already talked about this one in the same video itself for some situations the use of flexible may restrict an expanded widget to expand a child in main axis look at this example here we have total three container first is having a blue color second is with the orange color and last is having the red color the second container is placed inside flexible and the last one is placed inside an expanded so as there is no height for this flexible so what it will do both here the flexible and expanded will try to have as much as space in the main axis okay and that is the fine thing here but if i make some height for the container uh, with this uh, flexible let's put some height so when i save the code here you can observe here this orange container has got the height of 100 pixel and that's fine that's what the actual task of expanded we expect that one from the flexible but uh, the observable thing here as we have learned uh, that expanded widget tries to get the as much as space available in the main axis but this is not happening here you can see here there is some remaining space at the end of this red container even if i just increase the height of this one this remaining space is not occupied by this expanded and if i just go on decreasing this one you can we will again observe here that it is not just expanding itself so this secret or this thing is happening this is because this expanded widget is placed after the flexible widget so if i just remove this flexible you can observe here now this expanded will get the entire space and now if i decrease or increase here you can see here this will try to get entire space now at the end of this video let me tell you the final conclusion when entire remaining space needs to be occupied then use the expanded widget use the flexible widget to adjust the child in the available space without concerning the exact size of the child that's it for this video see you guys in the next video if you really found this video helpful then don't forget to like share subscribe and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos